Another planting cab cam coming at you. Thanks to the good folks at Precision Agri Services. More information at precisionagriservices.com. In Preble County today, in the cab of Chad Kemp, Kemp Farms. Chad, thanks for bringing us out here today. Not a typical field that we're planting right now. Tell no. us a little bit about what we're doing. I uh, appreciate you coming out, Joel. Now we're in uh, our last field here, and I've got a couple of test plots I'm going to be putting into the field there with some variety test plot, and I'm also a, a high yielding test plot situation. So our field's kind of a little, little chopped up, not a normal field, or just going back and forth. Before we get into talking a little bit about the test plot way of life, how's this year been treating you down this part of the state? We've been very fortunate. I mean, we had a, a good window there in April, got a lot of stuff in the ground. Uh, you know, we've, we've been having some big rains, we've been having some small rains, kind of keep us in and out, but we've been able to kind of jump in and out and get things pretty much in, in a timely manner. I, we finished beans up there about a week and a half ago, and uh, you know, the, the, the corn, I, I, I have a seed dealership, and it just seems like I'm always called to do something for somebody else and don't always get to send in the tractor as long as I'd like to, to plant the corn. Planting those things, the money making acres, but now trying to figure out maybe some questions, give us some hypothesis and some answers to those. Uh, why do some plots? Well, the biggest reason we do plots is, is you know, I, wa I want to know what is working, uh, what's not working, what's up and coming, is this going to be better than what we were planning before? Because, uh, you know, if we're not moving ahead, you're kind of always going backwards with things and so you've got to put that work in to to know what to do for the next steps tell us about some of the things maybe you're wanting to find out this year if you don't mind uh really you know the biggest thing is uh on, on the soybean side we have a, a, a new launch with uh the z series beans so we're wanting to see how how they will definitely perform in the field and and, and make a make everybody sleep easier at night knowing that they are what they what they say they are so we're going to figure out that out with the test plot and then you know obviously i'm still trying to learn myself on some micronutrients and what what things to place in the field so we have to play some tests with that to make sure that the products are working like they say they are we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about some of the equipment that we've got running out here you got some nice green machinery yeah yeah we got a got a 16 row high speed exact emerge john deere player here going and I typically plan about seven to eight miles an hour, so you know we can definitely cover the acres pretty quick. So today, May 21st, as we're recording this, you having been on the corn board and, and such in the past, you've got farmer friends from all over, let alone Matt Reese, who gives you a hard time from time to time. What have you heard as far as progress from those guys? You know, things progress pretty well in this part of the state, but up north, Henry County area, man, it's, it's interesting. It is interesting all across the, the state. I mean, it's it's so variable anymore. I mean, I we were honestly in April when they were calling for a lot of rain. We were wondering if we were going to get any because we were missing it all the time. And in the last couple of weeks, we've been getting our fair share again. So, you know, the variability is just unreal out here. Talking to my people from all over the state is you know everybody's in a different situation and it, and it can be township to township within a county you know whether or not you're getting anything accomplished or not and chad as we kind of start to wrap up this conversation as you look ahead to this year maybe even into 2025 what pieces of either market news or or otherwise are you keeping an eye out as a farmer yourself back to uh, a hard question when you talk about the markets it's so hard to figure out what what what's happening in the world because we're such a world economy now it doesn't matter as much what happens here in the states as it does around the world but you know i i still think that there's a good opportunities out here it's, it's not going to be as good as it was there five six years ago but i think there's still going to be some opportunities coming forward and you know our our uh, ability to raise bigger crops every year is just remarkable to me it's just amazing how how we can just keep going on the genetics keep getting so much better and the yields we pull off of some of these farms is just amazing 
And one of the ways we do that is by testing things ourselves, seeing what really works on our operations, and doing some plopped planting on the corn side. Chad Kemp, Kemp Farms in Preble County, joining us here today for this planting cap cam. Thanks to Precision Agri Services. More information at precisionagriservices.com. I'm Joel Penorwood for the Ohio Agonat. Chad, thanks so much for letting us out here today. Thank you, Joel, for coming here. It was a pleasure to have you in the tractor with me. This spring's cab cam series is made possible by Precision Agri Services Inc. Since 1994, Precision Agri Services Inc. has provided the best agronomic, environmental, ag technology, planter services, and planter products to farmers and agribusinesses. For more info, visit precisionagriservices.com.